The big problem is the huge unemployment challenge in sub-Saharan Africa. There are a lot of people looking for jobs, but also there's a lot of firms that struggle to find workers. What can be done to solve this problem? In Mozambique, we look at Imprego, which is a standard platform where formal uh, employers post job adverts. We also look at another platform called Biscat, which in Portuguese means odd job, where workers, typically with manual skills, can receive job opportunities from potential employers. So actually, we embed an encouragement experiment within a longitudinal survey of te technical and vocational graduates. We randomly sent SMS messages to participants in our survey, asking them to register on the platform. We also have a control group that didn't receive uh, any message. So we're interested in the effectiveness of the nudges of getting people onto these sites, as well as the effectiveness of the platforms themselves in terms of do they improve labor market outcomes if people register and use them. We sampled 1,600 young people from Mozambique, and we followed them for four rounds, asking them what was happening with their jobs and whether they were satisfied with their employment. The good news is that nudges did get people to use the platforms more. But in terms of job outcomes, the nudges didn't seem to make much of a difference. However, when we look at what we call the marginal worker, the individual who was nudged onto the platform and wouldn't have used the platform otherwise, we do see a small improvement in jobs outcomes for those who use the Emprego platform. So what we find is that, on average, men tend to benefit from the Emprego or the formal jobs platform, while women with manual skills tend to benefit more from the Bishkat platform, and they get higher incomes and also higher satisfaction overall. We have to recognize that digital labor market platforms are not a panacea to the unemployment challenge and underemployment challenge in sub-Saharan Africa. And that actually uh, echoes a little bit what we find in advanced countries where while internet search is the norm, it doesn't solve some of the more structural challenges. But I think the good news is that we can see these platforms as solving specific market challenges or niches such as getting younger women with manual skills into better jobs. <laughs>